Hey there, nerds. Welcome back to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Theories, and Conspiracies. I'm your host, Brian, from Good Nerd, Bad Nerd. This week on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., a lot happened. Fitz finally got his group back. Agent Tripp was able to get out into the field, get some action, and ended up shot. Bobby and Hunter had a little heart-to-heart -heart moment. And the Ward brothers got to play in the dirt. And let's not forget, Sky's two dads had a face-to-face. But as great as all of that was, the important stuff this episode revolves around Daniel Whitehall and Sky's dad. First, let's start with the Diviner and the legends surrounding that. Now, according to, to Daniel Whitehall, the Diviner seems to be from a legend about a star falling to Earth and the Blue Angels that came to the world that came with it to save the world. The Blue Angels uh, presumably are the Cree, but. You know, we'll, we'll see about that. Now, of course, fa Sky's father corrects Whitehall and says that it was to end the world but save the chosen few and the diviner with the device to select them. Not just that, though. Sky's father confirmed that it was a combination map and key that would activate some sort of machine. Now, to me, this sounds like confirmation of Terra Genesis, but on a global scale. But I think we're going to learn more about that most likely in the next episode. The next thing that happened that in this episode that we need to discuss is we got uh, a brief introduction to just who was Sky's mother, and it was was played by uh, I'm I'm gonna botch the name, Deshan Lockman, um, and hey, guess what? She seems to be immortal, or you know, at the very least, has major regenerative regenerative properties in her biology. Um, now this points to being her being something other than human possibly inhuman. Uh, sadly, Whitehall experimented on her to see what makes her so special, and apparently it was her liver, kidneys, and every other vital organ he could take out of her and implant into himself. She became his kind of organic fountain of youth. Um, but hopefully we will get more of Sky's mother, um, hopefully in flashbacks, just to provide some more detail about the, their past and Sky's past. The last thing that I think is of significant importance is, hey, they found Adelon. Coulson's plan worked perfectly. Sorry, Trip. Um, but it's not where uh, I personally expected the city to be in the Himalayas. Um, now, of course, Adelon was known to move around. I mean, the, the city was basically a giant spaceship. Um, and there were a bunch of offshoot inhuman groups. Um, so, you know, it's still possible it is inhuman related. They're... There are two theories about where this city is actually located in the show. Um, one of them is South America, and but it's hard to know um, based on the screen capture if it actually is in South America or if the map on the screen was still just turning and it just happened to have the match found while South America was on screen. Um, and the other one is that it's in the Mediterranean somewhere, and that's based on kind of the um, preview in the images. So... I'm just going to go with the Mediterranean theory for a moment and see see what that would mean. Well, what it could mean is that the city actually isn't Adelan at all, but it's um, something else, and that we're not actually going to find the Inhumans. We're going to find the city of Olympia, and the group that lives there are the, the Eternals. And actually, this would lead into the Olympians. Um, now, who are the Eternals? I think that is a big question. The Eternals are an offshoot of the evolutionary process that created sentient life on Earth. Now, that's complicated, but the original instigators of this process were the alien celestials. We've talked about them before. We saw them in the Guardians of the Galaxy. And the celestials intended the Eternals to be the defenders of Earth. Um, it should be noted that it was also that it's eternal DNA that the Kree used in, in their experiments to create the Inhumans. So it, there, there is a connection between all three of those, those groups that could play into this. It's pretty complicated for TV, but there, Marvel doesn't seem to be backing down from that. Now, if the Eternals kind of have a familiar feel to them, um, especially some of their older images and comics, uh, that's because they were created by Jack Kirby, who also created DC's New Gods. Um, now, it's also important to note that the Eternals in Olympia, their, their home city is on top of Mount Olympus in Greece, and it basically was a portal to the actual Olympus where the Greek 
Olympian gods lived. And yes, I am talking about those Olympian gods, Zeus, Hera, Ares, and Hercules. Now, this is important because it was leaked that Hercules would be making an appearance on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And in the comics, like I, I think I've said previously, Hercules was recruited by Agent 33, and she is currently on the show as the brainwashed Hydra agent who uh, pretended to be May. Um, she's being played by Maya Stojan, I think. Uh, but the clip for next week's episode showed that she would be returning, and she's going to cause the team some trouble. So it makes sense that if uh, she's involved and there's a possibility of us running into the Eternals or the Olympians, that this may be how Hercules is introduced to the team. So, after a really great episode this week, I think it is fairly safe to say that we have two highly possible options for our misters, mystery city. Adelon with the Inhumans, or Olympia with the Eternals or the Olympians. What do you guys think? Which, which city do you think it is? And let me know. Let me know in the comments which city you vote for. Adelon and the Inhumans? Or for Olympia and the Eternals and the Olympians? Um, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And make sure to check out all the latest stuff over at my site, goodnerdbadnerd.com. Until next week, I'm Brian from Good Nerd Bad Nerd, and this has been Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Theories and Conspiracies. Thank <laughs> you.